I held a community craft competition inside of my Discord server. Now that charms are in the game, I wanted to see what my community was capable of making. And you guys cooked. If you're not in my Discord server already, please make sure to click the link down in the description below to join. That way you can vote for who you thought had the best craft. I will create a special channel shortly after this video is uploaded where you guys can vote. Whoever gets the most votes wins this diecast AK charm. Good luck! Before we get started guys, I am going to be giving away the semi-precious charm once we hit 1,900 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. I'll see you in there. Alright, up first we have Deadly Counter. What do we have here? Nice little surfers on the Aquamarine Revenge. A little chicken at the very tip. Skill Surf. It's a cool skin. Surf Craft. Maybe this guy is from California or somewhere where they surf. I'm a big fan of the Aquamarine Revenge. And I was hoping to see crafts like this where it's not just like a 4X or a 5X. Something more creative. You know what I mean? Like making use of the more unique stickers that we have in the game. I like this Deadly Counter. Not bad at all. Alright, next up, Sinsane. We have the $1 bill on fire with a lightning bolt. Default AK charm in the bottom right on the Glacier Mesh P90. Love the baby blue of this thing, but man, is it an ugly skin. It seemed like this was more of an inside joke in the server, and I definitely missed it because I don't understand necessarily. So it's insane. Please uh, explain that to me one day after this video comes out. Up um, next, we have Marty.ese. We got Hooksy, Rops, and Hunter. G2 and Phase combo with a little baby howl, baby dragon lore sticker. What is that sticker? I'm not sure what that sticker is, to be honest with you. Uh, a nice blue AK charm at the very top, matching the navy blue of the Empress. The golden stickers were good. Um, I wonder, oh, we have a stat track counter. 100,805 kills on the stat track counter. I wonder what that means. Explain this one to me. I'm not sure if I'm understanding what's going on here, but it doesn't look bad at all. So up next, we have Kelvin. He said he unboxed both the skin and the charm here. So let's see what we have. It's a pretty decent 5-7, man. I'm sure the gold, I'm sure the blue stickers are covering the not so perfect front of the weapon here. Nice little Ava charm. I like it. Her navy blue shirt matches the rest of the 5-7. Very cool little blue gem, man. I don't know if this is probably a tier 3 blue gem. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna mog you real fast if you don't mind. Boom. Mogged. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but very cool. Very cool. Next up we have Kelso. And my god. Next up we have Kelso. And my god do I wish this thing existed. We have Katavita 2014 Hellraiser's foils. So this thing could never exist. And a borderline flawless red laminate here as well. I've said before that I wasn't a fan of the red line. But my god this thing is just so nice. Charm is the perfect shade of red here. This looks great. This might be my personal favorite so far. Just because you know I can never have it. And of course I want something that I can never have. Up next we have Quandale Dingle. Very interesting. The AK works amazing. The little AK charm works Looks amazing. Interesting mixed craft. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Nice little, you know, yin and yang over the guy's little helmet. Got the girl eye stickers, diamond on the scope, luminosity from Cologne 2015 on the back of the weapon there. I like the colors. The colors work great. The foil's kind of cool and the glitter's cool. I will, I'll, I'll give you that for sure. Colors work amazing. Up next, we have Super Tech Priest. I like this a lot. I like this. I like the way the Nip Katavita 2015 stickers are formatted horizontally, kind of matching with this. The Nip logo works great with these colors. So does the Dueling Dragon or whatever sticker that is, the foil version. And of course, you got the Golden Howl charm on the very bottom of the Glock there. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Shout out to you and Insane so far for being the only two have, who have crafted on a weapon other than the AK. I appreciate the creativity. This is nice. This is a good craft. Just a quick sponsor break, gamers. SkinsMonkey is an instant way to get new CS2 skins and make your perfect inventory. First, deposit the skins you want to trade, then filter for the skins you want, last hit trade, and the new skins will instantly be yours. SkinsMonkey is offering up to 5 free dollars on your first trade. The more you trade, the more you earn. If you're looking to buy skins for cheap, SkinsMonkey offers a 35% top-up bonus if you use code SAVIMI at checkout. Check out SkinsMonkey and build your perfect inventory. Up next, we have Mr. Brick. I like this dude, the goofy stickers, the googly eyes, the mustache on the little dude right there, the chickens are on theme with the chicken on the bottom of the magazine there, and on the stock of the weapon, you can briefly see it right there. The charm is good, again, chicken, the green matches, Mr. Brick, this is good. Goofiness of the craft really matches the Elite Museo, right, it's very abstract, I like that. Some thought went into this, it might look goofy at first glance, but this is a, this is kind of a big brain craft here. It's very abstract. It's abstract, actually. I like it, Mr. Brick, I like it a lot. Up next, we have Tony McSony, and he put some DreamHack 2014 Team Dignitas Hollows on the op fade. Man, the op fade looks great right now. Wow. 
I've never really liked the outfade before, but I'm kind of rocking with it right now at the current moment. I'm not going to lie. Colby, you're probably going to want to craft this right here. Throwing it out there. Might want to get your hands on this. Uh, and then we got the Titanium Op Charm as well on the bottom. Very nice, Tony. Very nice. You're appealing to my senses. I like, ex I like things that look expensive. This for sure looks expensive. Um, I like it. Not bad at all. Next up, we have Hawk. We have a golden coil with a with some fanatic cologne 2016s on it with a n golden carrot little knife. I like it, Hawk. This is his personal M4. I don't think he has the charm yet, but this this craft is his personal M4. And it looks great, Hawk. It really does look great. I like the golden coil a lot. The stickers were a great addition. Looks great. I like the little charm. Placement's interesting. I know that the placement isn't perfect yet, but I think, and this goes for every craft we've looked at so far, I think I like charm placement where you can see the charm in the default idle position if that kind of makes sense it looks great hawk next up we have sorry what did sorry cook up here a crying mouth a guy a person crying tongue sticking out with water breathing fire on the blaze with a little how again very creative kind of like mr brick-esque the craft matches the general theme of the skin howls on fire very very un very nice use of the new stickers we got valve kind of knew what they were doing when they released these stickers at the same time i'm just going to be honest but very nice very nice next up we have colby we have a battle scarred into the jungle paired with an orange ak and some battle scarred hollows but i believe they're scraped a little bit and a little spider right here on the back of the skin as well this is very unique. This is probably the most unique craft we've seen all game. He played with float value as well, not just stickers. That was allowed. You were allowed to do that. And what I really like is that both the battle scarred stickers and the actual Into the Jungle skin get this beautiful scale pattern on the mag there on the rail. You can see it on the handle and obviously on the battle scarred stickers. It matches perfectly. The colors match great. The orange AK was a really nice addition too. Very nice. Very, most unique craft I think we've seen so far. Very nice. Next up, we have Yui, top chatter in the server. I love this Arctic camo. It's so gorgeous. These fanatics, I don't know what tournament those are from. Paris, these are from Paris. That looks great. I didn't know they turned white like that. These subtle orange accents on the Arctic camo match the fanatic hollows. That looks amazing. Again, with the orange AK charm making a back-to-back -back appearance. I like how you can see the AK charm in default. It does kind of get jank right there though, but I do like that. This is really nice. I, I, I like this one a lot. And the blue comes in there. That's really good. Next up, Yaros. Looks like he went with the new AK from the Overpass collection. Kind of a random craft going on. But again, it's a little... Oh, I didn't see that right there till just now. Um, I'm going to leave this one be. Next up, Ryder. We have a beautiful Tech 9 Terrace with some Copenhagen Wolves DreamHack 2014 papers on it. A perfect color match. The yellow, the gray, a 5X, of course, three on the side, one on the back, and one on the mag. Paired with a yellow, I think that's like the salt the salt shaker guy, salt shaker bean. I like this, Ryder. The colors work great. I'm a, I'm a sucker for yellow gold crafts. I don't remember if you have this yet or not. Do you have this one yet, or are you in the process of making this still? I cannot remember, but regardless, it looks amazing. Next up, we have Apotheosis. Ooh, he wanted to nickname this one. It's not showing up on here, but award for best purple op. We have the 69 pattern on the back of the Son of Leo here. I don't know what stickers those are, but it, it, it works with the pattern of the skin. I like it. The, the color contrast is good. And the charm right in the middle, the gold and purple op charm. That looks good. It's a nice craft. I like the Sun and Leo. This pattern looks very purple. It's very vibrant. Very cool. Next up, we have Tower, Mr. Tarnet. We have some S Team Spirit stickers. Is that a duck? I think that's supposed to be a duck. I can't tell. Tower, if that's a duck, that's sick. But I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. But if that's a duck, that's very cool. And I know he likes the, the orbit. So very cool, Tower. Very cool. I think that's a duck. I can't tell, though. But I like it. Next up, we got my boy MX. We have a Hot Rod MP9, little flame craft, little scary f shark face dude, and a red AK. Cannot go wrong with this MX. Cannot go wrong. That color match is crazy, though, on the charm and on the MP9. That's a crazy color match. Boobs. Next up, we have Sophisticated Goose. Either I'm tripping or this is the same exact thing as Apotheosis. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm going to take what I said about Apotheosis, apply it here. Next up, we have Lucon. Ooh, ooh, that green kind of fire sticker from the new, the new sticker collection. Green knife on the tip there. Very nice. Good color matching. Again, same theme. Toxic guys, toxic little monsters, green explosions, toxic explosions. 
Nice. I like it. This op's growing on me. Next up, we got Gochu Jang. Got the gold AK on the tip, maxing, matching the gold accents of this AK. We got some Rio signatures, and the colors actually work pretty well here, especially the Flint sticker. The Max sticker works great too, the Torzi. They, this looks good, actually. Dude, these Rio stickers are kind of slept on. Like, if you can make them work, they can actually look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like, in this case here, they work really well. The vibrant colors work well. I like this. I like this a lot. Good. This is a good craft. Next up, we got AR. We have a fat CT with wings, a, you know, C a CT sticker on the blue phosphor, and a little Saz with, is that green or blue eyes? I think that's blue eyes on the Saz. Very cool. I like it. It's a classic. It's kind of like a little meme skin. Like, I just dropped $700 on this M4, but I'm going to meme craft on it. I like it. I like it. And last but not least, we have Yare. He has a little description here. My personal Glock, it reads Yare with a little XIT, cheat, hit it on the vent. An arrow pointing to the star, rare pattern, and uses stickers of players for my region. Yeah, it says Yare. I can see that right there. And, and cheat right next to it. Nice, nice uh, little precious charm. Matches good. Got the star pattern. There's the arrow. Very cool. I like this, Yare. This is a nice craft. And it's your personal Glock. That's cool. It's a nice little addition. I like it, man. I like the Moonrise. Like I said earlier, gamers, winner of this competition gets this diecast AK charm. If you're not in my Discord server already, please make sure to join. That's where you can go vote for the winner. I will have a special channel set up in the server where you guys can vote for who you think had the best craft. But that's all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.